Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a small review on the new Madcat RRT6 Plus mouse. Uh, really cool mouse, it's unique. I will show you what are the features. Uh, we will start with the specs. So first of all, it's a wired mouse. So as you can see, they have a wire. The sensor is the PixArt PMW3360. The max DPI for this mouse is 12,000. Uh, you have uh, 11 button that you can program whatever that you need. You have four different profile that you can save in the mouse. Uh, for the switches, they are using uh, the Omron switch uh, and it's up to 50 million clicks. So that's a lot. And uh, the weight of the mouse, it's kind of heavy without uh, the cable. It's 120 grams. So it's kind of a lot. Um, the mouse, sorry, comes with small weight that you can add or remove. For me, for sure, I'm going to remove it because I like a light mouse. So we will start with the mouse here. First of all, for the weight, you you can add them over there. You just have to unscrew this and add more weight. So right now, as you can see, it's empty. And another feature that's it's re that it's really cool is you have a small button over there that you can press and you have like some kind of slider that you can open and like reduce depending on what your first of all your, the size of your uh, n and what kind of palm that you uh, what kind of grip that you're using so if you prefer palm grip or if you pre prefer claw grip so you will reduce this for sure um so that's unique honestly if you look at like mouse from i don't know logitech glorious or whatever they don't have like those custom customable stuff that you can do so that's really cool uh, another thing that I want to mention, you have 11 buttons, so a lot of different buttons that normally you don't see on mouse. So as you can see here, you have one, you have your click over there, the DPI uh, button over there, the mouse squeal. Uh, you have some horizontal squeal as that you can change, like some, for example, your weapon in Call of Duty or scroll horizontally on, uh, on the web. So that's a, a nice feature over there. You have a thumb button that is like inside of your mouse over there. You got two side button also. So you have a lot of different options. First of all, the mouse is really comfortable. I was surprised when you look at it at first, you're just like, hmm, feel, that feels weird. But when you use it, honestly, it's, it's really good. I'm really impressed. Also the build quality, it's all metal over there. It's uh, it's really good. It's really, really well made. So also I was really impressed with the build quality. Couple of stuff that I don't like about this mouse is first of all the wire. Uh, it's not really flexible, so I feel like it's a wire that comes from the mouse like five or six years ago. So not that great. So you really need a bungee if you want to play, a, I don't know, a first-person shooter with this mouse. Another thing is the the skates. You have a couple of skates as you can see, but it's not that great. It's not the glide. It's pretty much okay. Uh, so it's not like uh, all those new mouse that coming in like for the past uh, two two years. So uh, the skates are so so. And also for me the weight for me 100, 120 gram is too much. It's a deal breaker for me. So I'm not gonna play uh, first person shooter and stuff like that with this mouse. But if you really don't care about the mouse, definitely you should look at this. One thing that I want to mention is the clicks. Clicks are really good on this mouse, so I don't know if you can hear it. They're using on-run switch. It feels really like mechanical switch switches. Uh, if I compare that, for example, to the Razer Viper, that's pretty much the, the oddest mouse right now. The, the Razer is too mushy. I don't really like the clicks, but on this mouse, it's really great. Honestly, the feel is really great. And also the mouse wheel for me, it's pretty much the best on the market. Uh, really good mouse wheel. Everything feels tight. You don't have anything that wobble in the mouse or some wobble in your click. So it's pretty like, it's really well, well built. Uh, so uh, that's about it about the mouse. So you have some driver that you can like customable, like, customize all your uh, different button, your RGB lighting and stuff like that. But honestly, I can't recommend this mouse because uh, first of all, it's just $89 Canadian on uh, Amazon. Yeah, it's kind of expensive, but if you look at all the future that you're getting, uh, if you look at the competition, everything is more expensive than that. So you have like a really well-built mouse, a lot of like customable stuff that you can use. So for $89 Canadian, it's a, it's a good deal. If you don't care about the weight, uh, definitely, you should definitely look at this mouse. 
So if you have any question about uh, this mouse or different model that they currently have, like the 8+, plus, 5+, plus, 4+, plus, and stuff like that, just come in in the YouTube section. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.